This picture tube has been removed from a colour television. It is complete with deflection and degauss coils. The coils have now been removed and air has been admitted by drilling a small hole into the anode cap. The gun assembly can now be removed complete with the getter attached. The gun has three cathodes but a single electrostatic focusing arrangement. An internal resistor provides different voltages on the gun. The electron beam emerges from the final anode shown here. This is a close-up of the large getter. The cone can now be separated from the faceplate. The cone itself is made from glass with a high lead content and the inside is coated with aquadag to connect the anode cap to the electron gun. The aperture curl assembly is mounted to the faceplate by three brackets and metal studs. The aluminium coating on top of the screen's phosphorus can easily be removed. The fine wires of the aperture grill can be seen here. A strong metal frame supports the aperture grill in tension. A very fine support wire can be seen here. A close-up of the aperture grille shows a stepped chamfer. This is the same as you find in shadow masks.